Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kupla Doshi, studying at Grade Eleven in Na Secondary School, and I feel very delighted to be standing here and giving a short speech on the topic of global poisoning system, a project given by our esteemed physics lecturer, Mr. Chedala Choudhary. As someone who has always been passionate about the growing technology, I believe this is a wonderful opportunity for me to learn, grow, and expand myself. Welcome to CLC, sir. Designed to enhance your learning. Let me begin by discussing about the history of GPS. So the story of GPS began in 1970s, developed by the United States Department of Defense. It was initially developed for the military purposes, but was later made available for the civilian use. On July 26, uh, 1993. 24 satellites were developed in the space about 19,300 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. They orbit the Earth in once every 12 hours at a very high pace of roughly 11,200 kilometers per hour. They are evenly spread in around the Earth so that four satellites can be accessible by a direct line of sight from anywhere around the globe. So now let's begin introduction. The Global Poisoning System, also known as GPS, is a satellite and ground-based radio navigation and location system that allow users to find the exact location or a place on the surface of the Earth. Anyone with the GPS, uh, GPS device such as SatNav or mobile or an handheld GPS unit can easily get their location and find their location displayed uh, through the latitudes and longitudes. So now let's talk about some segments of the GPS. So basically GPS has three segments. The first one is space segment. The space segment consists of constellation of satellites that revolve around the Earth. The GPS system relies on a 24 to 30 satellites that are about 20,000 20, kilometers above the surface of the Earth. They continuously send signal in containing the information and at the exact time when the signals are sent, the GPS receiver on the surface of the Earth catch those signals and use that information to provide the exact location. The space satellites consist of the atomic clocks that are used to find the precise location, precise time or accurate time that is required for the uh, actual positioning. So second segment is the control segment. The main function of control segment is to monitor or maintaining the GPS satellite. It is used to ensure that the GPS satellites are functioning properly and maintaining their own orbit. It also consists of the master control station that guides or upgrades the satellites to maintain their functioning or uh, maintain their clocks if needed. And the third and the last segment is the user segment. The user segment generally is referred as the GPS receiver also. Uh, that includes the mobile phones, uh, the GPS used in mobile phones and also the uh, advanced uh, navigation technology used in aircraft or, or uh, ships, etc. Uh, so user segment made it, made it available for the public for both specialized use and for uh, personal use also. So these three all segments were together to provide the accurate and the reliable information and the positioning worldwide. So now let's uh, have a small talk about the working mechanism of the GPS. So <clears throat> each satellite on the space broadcast a message including their orbit, time and their position and at the exact time the GPS receivers collect the info signal from the various satellites and process it and produce the actual result through a process called trial iteration. In this process, three satellites are mainly used to find the exact location and the fourth one satellite is used to ensure that the information is actual or correct. This uh, process can take a time from few seconds to few minutes based on the strength and uh, power of the receiver. Also, some satellite uh, GPS receivers also use the cache, uh, cache information or store some information on the previous receiver to increase the speed. Uh, so now let's talk about some application of GPS. As we know, GPS has become a ubiquitous part of our daily life. GPS is used everywhere like in telecommunication, transportation, mapping, surveying, roads, etc. Uh, so GPS is also used in scientific research like in geology. It is used for um, finding the movement of tectonic plates in environmental science. It is used to find the migration of the animals. And in meteorology, it is also used to uh, collect the data and the weather information. So GPS has changed our world. GPS has changed the way we see our world. GPS has made us understand the world in a different way in which we used to think. As we know that advantage and disadvantage are two sides of the same coin. So uh, it has also some shortcomings. The main shortcoming of GPS is that the GPS signals can be weakened by uh, small, uh, large or tall buildings. In hilly region, it is very difficult to find the exact location or the accurate, accurate position. 
also the gps tracking had created some privacy issues as we know the user can get the information of another user without their consent so it is more likely to create the privacy issues among the people and also gps signals can sometimes show the error due to several meters and due to the various factors like the atmospheric conditions and uh, in conclusion Uh, it is undeniable that it has changed our world it has changed the way we navigate communicate and understand the environment it has provided several uh, several benefits to the users in a various ways thank you <laughs>